Let's talk about batteries and old Sony equipment for a minute. This is my Sony Handycam model CCD TRV66 Hi8 XR camcorder from 1999 and my Sony Mavica MVC FD90 digital camera from 1999. Two very beautiful piece of old Sony imaging equipment that both still work fine. And these equipment use the Sony Infolithium L series battery which looks like this. Sony used this battery from uh, about 1997 or so until uh, I'm not sure when but until about the mid 2000s was when they totally stopped using this battery. Uh, in the For consumer equipment they quit using this in the early 2000s but I think for their professional equipment they kept it going longer for a couple of years. So, of course, Sony does not make this battery anymore, so if you're a fan of equipment that uses this battery, that might be a little bit of a nervous point. Now, I'm lucky to own uh, three or four of these batteries that still work just fine. Um, you technically can rebuild them inside these, uh, or at least inside some of these, are two 18650 cells. Um, cheaper lower capacity models of this battery actually have smaller batteries inside them and so I'm not sure if the infolithium circuitry does anything to stop it from working if you replace the uh, cells but it is physically possible of course you gotta cut the battery open but I think I've heard of people trying that before uh, with success but uh, if you have this equipment and you need a new battery and you know you're not into rebuilding trying to rebuild an old one you might wonder well crap you know what do you do now of course you can try and buy a new old stock battery and that might or might not work um, age alone does often kill these batteries uh, I think it might depend on who made the cells inside you know, I think some of these the cells were made by Panasonic and some they were made by Samsung but you just never know if you buy a new old stock battery but there are co other companies today making these batteries but they are not making them to replace the Sony batteries you know for old Sony equipment the companies making these batteries today are making them for the broadcast market Something really neat about the Infolithium L-Series battery was that it became a broadcast standard for battery power. Not just in Sony equipment, but in equipment in general. There are a lot of broadcast grade equipment which today use these batteries. People just decided that this was a nice battery uh, to incorporate into their equipment. So, video lights and other equipment often use this type of battery. I have such a piece of equipment. Uh, this is an Icon Econ video light and it uses an Infolithium L-series battery. Icon is one of the ma many companies making products and they just decided to use this style of battery for no particular reason. And it's physically exactly the same. There you can see. And this will fit in Sony equipment. As a matter of fact, this particular battery actually says for Sony NPF550 or NPF570. And so I'm wondering if you have an old piece of Sony equipment that uses an Infolithium L series battery, can you will you have success buying one of these batteries for the broadcast market? Does it still work in Sony equipment or have they excluded the Infolithium circuitry? Many Sony products, including both of these, will not work with a battery that does not have the infolithium circuitry. I actually have an infolithium L-series L battery that doesn't have the infolithium circuitry. Uh, it's just a cheap, uh, 
cheap replacement battery, generic battery, and it doesn't have the infolithium circuitry. So when you put it in a piece of Sony equipment and turn it on, it turns on, but then it says, you know, it, it whines that it's not a genuine battery and it shuts back off. It's not usable. Some pieces of Sony equipment uh, will work with generic batteries that don't have the infolithium circuitry, but most, most pieces of equipment won't. So, Icon build this battery such that it is compatible with actual Sony equipment. Well, let's find out. The Duracell battery does have the infolithium circuitry. So we will stick our broadcast grade clone battery in here and turn the camcorder on. And we'll see. Well, it's turned on and it works. It it hasn't it hasn't reported that it's not a genuine battery, so it looks like at least for the Icon batteries which you can buy on Amazon, by the way, or I think you can. No, the ones I saw on Amazon were made by, uh, oh, I forget the brand name. It's New Something, but that's the other brand of batteries we have in some of these video lights at the station. And you can buy them on Amazon, and they're quite affordable. Now, will a Sony battery work in this? Well, let's find out. And the answer is yes. Works just fine. And there you can see the uh, battery meter there, three out of four lights. So you can use Sony batteries in broadcast grade equipment, and you can use the broadcast grade clone infolithium batteries in Sony equipment. So there you go. For people who are fans of these old Sony Handycams and Mavica cameras that use the Infolithium L-Series batteries, we are A-OK. -okay. There is a big market of Infolithium L-Series batteries, and there probably will be for years, if not decades, to come. And, of course, I can mount this video light on my camcorder here, and... Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> that is nice. Let me turn the color temp. You can adjust the color temperature here. Cool and warm. Warm's about the equivalent of a incandescent and old school halogen video light. Actually, that works out quite well.